right, so I've been asked about this one a couple times, or maybe it's the same dude asking a couple times, I don't know. But how do we add a high beam indicator to the Pro Dash? So it's been mildly annoying to me, but I haven't really cared enough to do it till now. So first thing, we're gonna remove the dash. We're gonna pull out the connector from the back. We're gonna identify which pin and all that for the wiring. So if I go to the body wiring for 89 Camara, we want right here, headlight dimmer switch, and there's going to be a light green going out under the hood and one that comes out to the high beam indicator that's on the stock dash. So we're going to look for light green and on the pro dash we want a switch to 12 volt input. I'm going to use input 10 because on my notes here 7, 8, and 9 are already used. Side note, if you don't have a list of all of your inputs and outputs labeled so you're not chasing wires trying to figure out what is what when it comes to troubleshooting or adding additional sensors make a list or something a chart spreadsheet something that says what all your your additional wiring is going to be so like i said we want input 10 it is going to be on pin 31. pin 31 is going to be on the bottom row fourth from the right. On the connector itself, it'll tell you pin 32 right down here. So we're just gonna go over one to pin 31. Right, so I added that wire into IO10. I've got a specific video about putting the wires in the in that connector. It's one of my first videos if y'all need to see it. I ran that down to underneath the dash to the dimmer switch that's at the base of the column. Your car may be different, but on a third gen Camaro or Firebird, the dimmer switch is at the base of the column. Anyways, trust me when I say I found found that wire we looked up on the uh, wiring diagram earlier. It's too small for to film under there and work. So, anyways, we are now at the point of turning on the dash. We're going to go to menu and we're going to set up that input. We're going to go to dash configuration. We're gonna slide down on down here to io10 switch and we're going to change switch to ground to switch to 12 volt that's it on here hit ok hit ok now hit customize we're going to go off of one of these other gauges hit add gauge come on add gauge scroll down io10 and then we're going to change it to status light. We're going to customize again and we're going to change the color. We're going to change it to blue. Hit OK. And now we're going to move it. I want it right in the middle above the RPM. Once we're done, we're going to save it. And I f***ed up. We go back in here to dash configuration, go on down here to IO10, and we're going to rename that high beams. Go in here, change the label to high beams. We're going to make the range. Not the range. The warnings, the high alarm, we're going to make blue. We click on that. We click click basic color blue. Hit OK. And then OK. We're going to change the text back to white. Now, we're going to save everything. And we're going to go back to the dashboard. Not that. And then test. So, regular beams, no indicator. High beams are on, blue indicator. 
there we go just like that pretty easy short video pretty quick job and uh now i can see when my lights are set from blind to x-ray so thanks for watching like comment share subscribe all the things you know whatnot and uh be good people